Good day everyone, and my name is Mr. Emil Viader, and welcome to General Physics 1. Today we're going to compare distance and displacement, also speed and velocity. If a man runs around a 100 meter field for 4 times, and if the man returns to his initial position after the last lap, what was his total displacement? 400 meters? If this was your answer, then you're referring to distance. Now if it's zero, then great job! You are on the right path! And that's why we're here, to distinguish each quantity from one another. Distance is how far an object travels. Look at the bug. What distance did the bug travel? If it's 7 centimeters, then you're correct. Observe again our bug. Now what distance did the bug travel? If it's 5 centimeters, then you're correct. Displacement differs from distance because it's concerned with only the difference between an object's final position and its starting position. Looking at our map, if you're talking about distance, it's simply the path you took from point A to point B. But if it's displacement, we are just concerned about a straight line from point A to point B. Going back to our bug, what is its displacement? Displacement is a vector, so we have to consider its direction. So we have to consider the positive and negative signs. So what's the displacement? Since we move to the right 7 cm, we get positive 7 cm or 7 cm each. Now another example. Since we move to 5 cm to the left, its displacement is negative 5 cm or 5 cm west. Now let's make it pretty. Determine the bug's distance and displacement. For the distance, it's 16 centimeters. Just add every length you travel. But for displacement, we have only negative 2 centimeters or 2 centimeters west. Since we combine the vectors positive centimeters and negative 9 centimeters, or 7 cm east and 9 cm west. Distance and displacement are similar, with its units and symbols, but for displacement, we place an arrow on top, its symbol to indicate that it's a vector. Looking again at our map, can you imagine what's our distance and displacement? The red line is our distance, and if you imagine a straight line between the two points, then that's your displacement. Amazing! Now let's compare speed and velocity. Speed is a scalar quantity which refers to how fast an object is moving. While velocity is a vector quantity which refers to the rate at which an object changes its position. These two quantities use the unit meters per second and the quantity time, but for velocity, we also add the direction. Looking at their equations, speed is distance over time, while velocity is displacement over time. Displacement the change of position from point A to point B. Looking at the equation for velocity, we find final position minus initial position over time. That makes it possible for the velocity to have a negative sign because of its direction. Now let's reveal the answers for our assignment last time.
I hope you learned something. See you in our next video. Goodbye.